explore the monuments in Moise Street after visiting the most famous tourist market in the world. Putting in consideration that Cairo one day only consisted of this narrow street and the areas around it. The street contains a huge variety of Islamic monuments. The Mosque of Al-Hakim is the second largest Fatimid Mosque in Egypt and its design is similar to that of the Mosque of Ahmad ibn Tulun. The mosque was mainly built out of brick other than the two unique minarets that were built out of stone. The mosque consists of an open courtyard, the Sahr, with four halls which are we walk, surrounding it from the four directions and the largest and the most beautiful among them is the Qibla Ruwak, which identifies the direction to Mecca, where Muslims should be facing while praying. The Mosque of Al-Hakim is famous for three main architectural characteristics. The first is the memorial entrance with its huge size and fabulous decorations. This entrance was the first of its kind to be built in Egypt. The second beautiful architectural aspect of this mosque is its wide white marble floor that reflects the mosque itself from inside. A lot of flakes of birds are usually seen flying around the mosque and standing on its amazing floor as they drink water from its fountain. The third and most unparalleled feature of Al Hakim Mosque is its uniquely designed two minarets, which are located at the north and south corners of its western entrance. They are the oldest surviving minarets in Egypt. Furthermore, there isn't any minaret in Egypt that would look like those of Al Hakim Mosque because of the rare design that was imported to Egypt from North Africa, the origin of the Fatimids. Moise Street is one of the most interesting places to visit. This street includes several historic places that reflect different periods of time.
building here has its unique design and architecture. Reflecting different eras, one can describe it as an open air museum. inside. Let's take a look at the gates surrounding the whole area. Especially that these gates were built for a reason and not haphazardly. It is interesting to learn some more information about these gates. was called the citadel or fort, a stronghold. It looked like a square and it was surrounded with the great sea from the east, the gulf from the west, from the north gardens that extended to Matareya and the mount Gabal el Gueshi from the south. When the Fatimid reign settled in Cairo, starting from 969 till 1171, under the leadership of El Muayz al Allah, it was called Cairo of El Muayz, because they decorated its four suburbs with luxurious buildings, delightful spots, and gardens. This increased its delightfulness and beauty. It was the settlement of rulers and princes. Al-Fustat city was big and important due to the number of people living over there in addition to the buildings and all the livelihood which meant a lot at that time. That is why Jawhar al was so keen on it. So he established the fortified gates and installed them all around in the four-sided wall.
mentioned, these gates were not built haphazardly. They were built to defend the country against enemies. And also for management and some administrative purposes. was allowed to enter Cairo or stay there except for its residents or those who go in for certain reasons and in daytime only. of Armas Bedr al Jamali in 1087 built Babel Futuh, Babel Nasr, and Babel Duwila. All were built of stores. In Cairo gates at that time were eight on each side. added beauty to the whole area and put El Moise Street on top of the sightseeing list in Cairo.